Hello and welcome back to Crypto Schnack. My name is Marian and I welcome you. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. We are looking at Giga Austin and credits goes to Jeff Roberts. Thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to share these drone footages and the link to his channel is down below. Looking at the construction side, we see that there is more developments happening and there is a reason for that. We see more and more people and it looks like we are adding shifts um, at the Giga Austin. So we will look at the construction side and today we're going to look at the Tesla Energy Mega Packs uh, business in Israel and um, order books till 2023. And we further look into the investments Volkswagen is doing. And um, yeah, so if you like all that, please do subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more. And now we're just going to start. So first of all, um, the Tesla energy business is expanding to Israel. And in Israel, they are competing with BYD to name just one company. Um, and Israel is having a lot of focus on green energy um, and um, renewable energies in this case. And um, Tesla is uh, expanding its business over there. And there is need for mega packs. And um, it seems like the decision that they have done from the normal power wall um, have created a mega pack is making a great was a great decision was the right decision because demand is as crazy guys and I'm going to come to that in a second so um, we have um, f um, official um, statements from Tesla that they um, have stated in the last quarter as well that the um, demand for mega packs is really strong and the Nevada production has increased from Q2 to Q3 by 100%. Um, we all know that the Tesla Energy is, uh, business is by far not as profitable as the car business, but I think we will see the same, um, uh, same uh, future um, uh, trend um, when they are going into mass production. I think that the return for the energy business will get better and better. It's the same when um, Tesla started with the cars. Um, I think they will um, be more efficient and um, produce more uh, batteries and mass production means less costs. If you involve as well the fact that they're going to um, do new batteries with new batteries um, less um, less space, less cost, and um, better um, um, better level of service and um, saving energy. This all combined will increase the profit margins for Tesla Energy. And looking at the Nevada production side, if there is an increase of a hundred percent, and um, Panasonic, as mentioned a few days ago, is investing another $100 million into the factory. I do see that um, Tesla soon um, will expand the factory because they have been operating for a long time in the current um, space they have. And originally the plan was to build the factory even bigger. And I think this might happen pretty soon. Um, and now the interesting thing, guys, the um, demand for mega packs is so big, so strong that the order books till 2022 are totally full. And right now, 2023 is already filling up. So what this means is they are increasing the production. And this is stated from Tesla side that they have to and will increase production because they have already order books till 2023 almost full. So this is pretty crazy because we are still in 2020. And if you're looking 2023, this means they have full 24 months full of production filled um, at the current um, uh, possibility of production. And in 2023, we have further orders already coming in. So um, the demand is higher than the actual um, production Tesla is having. And it kind of reminds me a bit of the car business. Um, a lot of um, bears have stated there is no demand, but we do see that the Fremont factory with um, just um, from the space um, is already at a limit. There's not much more space to increase production. 
just by doing it more efficient that is one way but um, just from the size they can't build more buildings there so I um, you see that there is a limit and we have the Giga Shanghai opening with the Model Y soon and if you look at all that we are not having any demand issue and we don't have any demand issue for the Tesla energy business and I think um, the focus on the car business is nice that is natural but if we are looking at the energy business this will drive um, revenue even further up for Tesla in the future so um, this is great news and the mega packs um, will be a will be and are already a great great product which makes a lot of money for Tesla um, then we are looking at NEO NEO has been um, had an astonishing growth in the um, stock market they reached around $45 um, but they are far away from production numbers Tesla has but they are already more expensive than BMW etc so it seems like there's a lot of investors hoping um, that NEO could get um, to a level like Tesla soon um, but here's an issue the issue is Tesla so we had already an announcement that in a few years we might see a Tesla for 25k and right now um, NEO is operating in a market segment which is um, close to the Model Y segment and we all know that the Model Y has been getting in production and has been delivered to customers in the United States but we haven't seen that in Europe and there were no Model Ys yet in China and till now NEO could increase their production and deliveries really good but now when Tesla is going in there into this market segment with the Model Y we could see some issues for NEO um, Tesla has the possibility and has the um, game-changing technologies to decrease the price and still make a profit we have seen that the margins are close to 27 percent and with lower um, costs in China Tesla is actually able to even further go down with the prices to get more uh, market share and this will be an issue for NEO so um, for all those who are now um, thinking oh I'm, go I'm gonna miss out on this stock be careful because I believe Tesla will crush the competition in China um, the, the government is standing behind electric car companies but at the end of the day NEO is so far behind yet they are not at the point where Tesla is so we have to be careful about the stock price if you're interested to buy it though and Volkswagen is investing more and more money into technology because they had a lot of issues not building the ID3 um, by itself but with the technology inside so they're going to invest a lot of money in the future and um, yeah so um, in the Giga Austin as we have seen there's a lot of construction happening and um, it looks like we um, are seeing another shift added to, so the speed is increasing um, as mentioned um, several times in my last videos so there's a lot of exciting stuff happening and we do see that the building is taking shape now um, in really uh, small steps but it does take um, space so guys um, I wish you all a wonderful weekend and if you enjoyed my video um, please do subscribe to my channel I would really appreciate that and um, enjoy your day guys take care